Shelby, there are two objects in front of you. Can you grab the one with your left hand? Can you describe it or name it? It's rectangular, but I don't know what it is. All right, you can set that down. Can you grab the one in front of your right hand? Can you describe this or name it? This is Sentia. Hi, these are the subjects that we will be using to reenact Roger Sperry's split brain research. This is Shelby, the subject with the split corpus callosum, and this is Michael, the control without a severed corpus callosum. They will now leave the room while I explain the materials that will be used in the research. This is the board with the fixation point that the subjects will be staring at while these images are flashed in their right and left visual field. These images match the items behind the board of a can of garbanzo beans, a marker, a book, a paper clip, a set of keys, and a ball of yarn. Let's begin. Michael, you're going to be shown two images, one in your left field of vision and one in your right. You will be asked to identify and describe the objects. Michael, can you pick up the image you saw in your left field division with your left hand? Can you identify or describe it? Yeah, uh, it's a cylinder. It's definitely a marker. Okay, good. Can you do the same with your right hand? Can you identify or describe it? Yeah, these are some keys. Okay. Thank you. Alright, let's begin with our split brain subject, Shelby. Shelby, you're going to be shown two pictures, just as Michael was, in your left and right visual fields. You will attempt to match what is shown in your left visual field with both hands. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, Shelby, can you reach around with your left hand to try and find the object shown in your left visual field? Can you identify or describe this object? It's cylindrical and it kind of feels like plastic, but I think it looks like what I picked up. Okay. Like reach around with your right hand, try and do the same thing. Can you identify or describe the object you're holding? Are these garbanzo beans? Oh, no, okay. Thank you. So do you guys understand what you helped us research today? No. Well, Michael, your corpus callosum is not split, but Shelby, yours is. Which means your left and right hemisphere of your brain can't communicate, but yours can. Mm. That's why you had no difficulty naming and identifying objects with both hands. Shelby, however, you could only identify things with your left hand and only name it with your right. It's because the sides of your brain can't talk to each other and the messages don't communicate, they don't send. So um, that's about it. Do you guys get it now? Yes. Sure. Thanks for all your help. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. 